after malaria, which is also a mosquito transmitted disease, dengue is the most important mosquito transmitted disease in the world and it actually affects more people than, than are affected by malaria. Mosquito control is really the only way to suppress dengue transmission right now. And mosquito control in many of the areas where dengue is a problem is non-existent. The difference um, in this trap is that it combines several different control methods. It also uh, uses a rather passive method of, of, of control in that people don't have to go out and spray chemicals into the environment. You set up a couple of these things in and around a house and don't worry about it for a couple of months. It's a novel approach um, not only to mosquito control but to disease control. Most traps target what they call host-seeking mosquitoes, mosquitoes that are looking for, for blood to feed on. This one actually targets the mosquitoes that have already fed. It's the female mosquitoes that are carrying eggs and um, they need a place to get rid of those eggs before they can feed again. And the way it works is we take a packet of attractant, um, add that into the trap, add in about a half a liter of water, try not to splash it too much. And so that takes care of any of the immature stages of the mosquito that are present. And then this piece gets set down inside like this. And this is a um, insecticidal fabric that uh, if a mosquito lands on it, adult mosquito lands on it, is toxic to that mosquito. Um, and the lid is closed and this is set in a, a uh, secure space in the corner of a room or the corner of a yard under a little bit of vegetation. Um, and is, is checked uh, again in a couple of months. This, if it works, uh, is a, a very, very safe method for reducing dengue transmission. Right now, uh, there has really been nothing that can be used on a wide scale, um, a large scale, uh, a multinational scale, that has been able to do that. Um, and so, um, if, if it works, uh, we think it really can, can change a lot of people's lives.